just a little heads up, I have no structure for this video. I'm kind of just winging it. It's one take. So, uh, let's do it. Alright, so, Fallout 76 is a... Well, it's a game. Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Well, it's a fun one. It's not a good one, it's a fun one. Let's get into it. Well, how could it possibly be a bad game? Well, I've had lots of bugs. To visual bugs from my own person. To, uh, bugs when I kill people. To bugs where I can't even kill people. I don't do damage. There's just a lot of unnecessary bugs that just... Why do they even exist? <laughs> now look at Fallout 4, right? Not the best story-driven game, but there's mod support. With mods, I can do things like this. In Fallout 76, I just... I, I can just kill people. That's it. You just shoot people. I mean, that's fun. But it gets boring after a while. I want something to do. Give me something, man. That's enough about Fallout 76. I'm here today to talk about a new concept for the next Fallout game that would be even better if I directed it myself. I'm calling this game Fallout Ohio. Now, what kind of game would it be? Would it be online, like Fallout 76, or would it be, you know, single-player driven? It can be both. There's a vault outside Cleveland. The bombs drop, and you emerge five years later. Now, according to the wiki, Cleveland was, uh, obliterated? So, you could go there and be like, oh shit, there's a lot of high-level enemies, so you don't go there yet. You go around talking, you know, basic tutorial, and then you look at the factions. There's the Brotherhood, the Enclave, Minutemen, Raiders, everything. And you wonder, what's everyone fighting over? And then you look at the map inside one of the HQs of the factions, and you see what's pinned on the wall. Grandpa's Cheese Barn. 